So I suppose my first question for you, and I asked you this a little earlier, um, you know, you said this is your day two for you at the festival. Um, what, what has the experience been like thus far for you here in Charlottesville? Well, this is my third time in Charlottesville, so I kind of know my way around a little bit, and uh, which is nice because it has the, the main street here, what they call the mall in the center of the city, has a real kind of intimate feeling, and I recognize some shops and things, and I've been in before, and um, the people are real nice, and the festival's been really warm to me and, and gracious, so I always have fun when I come here. Okay. All right, so, so on to uh, First Cousin Once Removed. Um, can you talk a little bit about the genesis of this film? Well, um, it's, a, it's a portrait of my cousin Edwin, who I've been very, very close to for, for decades, and it's in many ways uh, the culmination of um, decades of artistic kinship and family kinship and long talks and long walks and conversations and debates, a lot of which are centered around my cousin Edwin's belief that um, art, and for him is especially poetry, should always touch people in their souls, should get to the heart of the matter, to the bottom of things, sh shouldn't be afraid to take risks, you know? So in many ways, um, Edwin taught me how to make the film through his emphasis on that kind of um, approach to poetry and and art, and um, I made that, I made the film with that in mind. Great. Well, I, I did have opportunity to see the film, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it was touched on a bit in the film already. Uh, seeing that it is a personal film, it is, you know, again about the the great poet uh, Edwin uh, Ahonik, but you know, it's still personal for you in that it's you know about a relative, it's about a family member, and I'm sure you know initially you, you have family members that weren't you know. I guess the word thrill that, that, that you were making a, you know, a documentary about you know, your, your relative who was going through Alzheimer's. Um, so can you talk a bit about uh, what the reaction has been like now that the film is done? Well, the first of all, to say this is, um, I've been making personal films now for a long time. This is the third portrait that I've made, and it's the fifth film that's, that uses my life or members of my family as a sort of laboratory into turning the personal into the universal. You know, so my family, they're used to that now, you know, uh, you know, uh, my father's been in my last five films. My mother's been, she's not in this one, but she's in the last four films. So everyone knows that's what I do and um, understands that even though I use my life or the life or the characters in my family, that my films are hopefully, if I do it right, they're about the viewer. and and uh, shaped so that the viewer think, can think about their family, their family relationships, their personal history, their memory, their name, their sleep, whatever it is I happen to be exploring. You know? So it's, it's about mirroring back to the viewer. So uh, you have this film now at the Virginia Film Festival. Uh, are you going to continue the film film festival circuit with this film, or do you already have you know a film kind of in the early stages, gestating right now? Well, I don't have a film. I, I'm thinking about some projects, um, which I, but I'm not sure about yet. But I'm I'm uh, I've had a very long year run with this film, shown it at many many different places around the world. So I'm coming to the I'm winding down now, you know, here at the end of 2013. So, which is good, because I've been jet-lagged like crazy a lot over the last year, and um, it's really nice to come to a place <laughs> in, in Charlottesville where I'm in the same time zone as my home in New York <laughs> City, I have to tell you. I have to tell you, you know, a lot of airplanes, a lot of mileage, you know. Well, thank you so much, Alan. I appreciate your time. Thank you.